Hi everyone, today I'm just going to do a quick video on showing you how to mine Monroe on a Mac. One thing I will say at start is Macs are not designed for long periods of cracking code. To make sure you're not damaging your laptop, please check out my other video on how to download the CPU temperature checker, which you can see up here. If your CPU temperature doesn't go over about 80 degrees and you don't run the program for too long, you should be alright. Okay. So on my other video I showed you how to download the correct version of Minergate which will have all the wallet in it because if you download the normal version not the extended version you won't have the wallet. So that video will be in the description and you should have Minergate on your desktop. So if you're already logged in and everything you can just open up Minergate and you'll see all these options up here. So you've got your wallet, smart miner, miner, benchmark and achievements. If you want to mine on a row, all you have to do is look up and down the currencies in Miner, find XMR, choose how hard you want to, uh, how much, how hard you want to run your computer, but the harder you run it, the more hashing rate you get. I run mine at 8, and you just literally click start mining. So your hash rate will increase and increase and increase. And then you can see on the right here, you got good shares, bad shares, and the last time you got a share. So the last share I got was eight seconds ago. I should get one soon. And that's the amount of shares I've got. These are my good shares. These are the bad shares. And then that is the time. Of, um, that is how long ago you got your last share. So after you've got your shares it will give you your unconfirmed balance which is here and if you just keep on mining that unconfirmed balance will go into your confirmed balance which is shown in your wallet here you just want to keep an eye on your CPU temperature make sure it doesn't go above 80 degrees if it does just quickly stop mining but your Mac should really keep itself below that temperature and then once you want to withdraw your currency just click this button here Enter in your address, click withdraw. Any questions, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.